Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and I thought it would be fun for us to build a command prompt encryption program. So let's go ahead and get into it. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do, we do micro videos, and every so often we put things all together, uh, everything that we've learned, and something fun and useful. So make sure you stay tuned until the end to watch any of these videos that pop up, because I bet there's a couple you haven't seen. So, all right. And everything that we're doing here has had a previous video done before, and I will have down in this, the description below the link to the playlist. And um, also, there's some other things down there to make sure you look at. Uh, the Discord server, and if you are not a subscriber, make sure you're clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell. Cryptography. So if you are unaware, um, we are going to be using the cryptography library. And like I said, uh, grip, I got I to gotta concentrate when I spell cryptography. Cryptography. All right. Import fernet. All right, let's see. Imported, not used, okay. Dot in front and imported, not used. So the way that we're gonna do this is we're going to, actually, let me show you. Do, 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 do. And this is how we're gonna do this. And especially if you've not seen this. So Python, and the name of the program is encrypt. So it's just an uh, encrypt.py. So you're going to get prompted with, are you going to use an old key or a new key? And if you were to hit in, so we're going to hit in or O. Right now we're going to use an old key. So I have one right here. All right, so now I have this key that this person and I, or a group of people, that we can message back and forth. So uh, I'm going to write, so W for write, hello. So then I could s grab this and send this encrypted message. So now I just got one, so I'm going to read one, and it is going to be, oops, that's the last one. No, it's not. Help. Ooh, okay. And then I'm going to say, help with what? And then there's my message. Oh, I just got a new one. And then here is the last one. I need help with loops. And then Q for quit. And that's the quick synopsis. So now, I also want to touch on this because I've briefly touched on it, but now we're going to talk explicitly about this. So if you see me typing here Python and then my file, the reason why is because I have multiple versions of Python. So right now I have this set up in my path. So if you see or you're typing just your file and it's working, that's fine. If I only had one version of Python on my system, that would work fine as well. But right now when I type Python, it goes to this location and runs with that interpreter. So, all right, now let's get to the code. So first, as you saw, we were posing the question. Actually, we need to bring this in first. So as you can remember, um, when in, in the series, w this was a package and a very large package. So this Fernet object was not this pa part of the, this package part of this, this module inside this package was not there. So we needed to explicitly bring this in. So that's why we're, doing that right there. If you're not quite sure why in the world I'm doing it this way. All right, so now I have my Fernet module here. So now I'm going to have a new or old variable input new or old, forgive me, I can already tell 
how this is going to go. Key, wow. Newer old key. And then close that out. So now, now we need to handle how we're going to do this. Let's get this up here so we can keep this up and make sure that, yeah, okay. So if or O dot, yep, because we're going to handle this equals new. Then we're going to generate a new key. So, and as you saw right there, just strings were coming in and out. So we're going to need to transform these from strings to bytes back to strings. So we're going to have that process. We're going to encode, take input, take input, encode or decode, then go back and forth. All right. So key, then f dot fernet dot generate. Whoa. No, not that. Generate a key. And then print, oops, print key. And I'll explain what I'm doing here. So I'm going to take key, then decode it. Because we're going to want this to come out as key. And print, print, key. All right, so let's go over what we're doing right here right now. So I need the key generated if we want to use a new one, right? Then that goes and is going to stay here. But I want this to come out to the screen as a string. So that's why I'm going to convert it to a regular string. I'm going to decode it with as key, then create a new variable print key, then print the key. All right. But so then else uh, key, if we're going to use an old one. Whoa, I don't need all these. Keep this together. Input, then paste key. And I want this on a new line. All right. Then we're going to convert this. Key dot encode. As key. All right. Because I'm bringing this in, I'm pasting just the string. So I need to turn this into uh, bytes. That's what we're doing here. So now, let's check and make sure everything runs here and does not throw up. And you didn't tell me that. So there we go. Fixed all those. Yeah, sometimes being dyslexic sucks. Okay, so cool. That works perfectly. So let's continue on. This is saying it's brought in but not used, but yes it is, but don't worry about it. All right, so now we need to do our reads and writes. So def.read. Now don't forget, we're gonna be bringing in, then encoding, shoving through our encryption or decryption, and then um, decoding it. So we got we have to do our paste equals input, then paste message, and we're gonna do line. All right, now here goes the conversion equals paste. Now I could do this all on one line, but it would gets pretty nested and it gets a little unreadable. So encode as key, all right, and then paste, okay, paste equals for f dot furnit, and then we paste in the key, 
Then we're going to run decrypt. And then we're going to slap in paste. And then, then we need to decode it and put it out to the screen. So paste dot decode. Then all right. So let's go through this. What we're doing here. So I literally could have put all of this in I could then put this in here and then print out paste but I wanted you to be able to read this so let's go through this again so as I was as I was reading I pasted the message so I've taken the message then I need to turn it into bytes so I need to encode this into bytes then I need to decrypt this because this needs to be a byte object then I need to, I want it to be readable and I don't want the user to know that it's bytes. So then I turn this back into a string. So that's the reason for the steps. So now let's get right going. And then, so we're going to take in message. So we're taking an input from the user and put and enter message same thing new line message equals message dot encode as key all right message and run it through encryption give it the key and then give it message and we want to then have it come out nice and clean message dot decode and there we go as key get rid of that one and there we go now so all right now we need to handle our process of this right here so we're going to take an input but we have something that happens over and over and over again. So we need to have a while loop, all true. Then process. Oops, you can read that. Input. All right, so read. Close that. Read D. Or write. Or quit UIT question mark there we go boom boom now if process dot lower equals Q then we break real simple oops LF process dot lower and I what did I do I forgot some parentheses right there equals R then we run read LF process dot lower oops equals W right and then else let's go we don't know what you're wanting to say so please check entry all right 
Now, I just did a lot of typing and we didn't do a lot of checking here. So let's see how we did. All right, so save this, run this. Nope. Let's see, what is our error? Invalid indention. So what did I not close out? Uh, anybody already see it? There we go. Save, run. Uh, let's test out our old key still. Copy. So we're going to test our right now. Hello. All right, then we're going to read. And help. All right, right. Help with what? Then read again. I don't know why this makes me laugh. <clears throat> I need help with loops. So there we go. And I'll have all of this in, um, I'll put this over in GitHub. So, but I really want you to try to do this on your own um, and really get the feel of it. But make sure you're joining that Discord uh, link down below because you are not alone in this journey. And that's the whole point of this community, this Discord, this YouTube channel. Because I built this for if I was starting over and what, what, what type of channel would I want. So there we go. Make sure you stay tuned until the end. Check these out. Um, I bet there's one or two of them that you have not seen before. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.